Hello, princesses, and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. Today we have, well, yeah, it's another lip product video. I, I warned you a week or so ago that there were a lot of these coming up, so I'm going to combine a few and talk about a few. Today we are going to discuss the brand new Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Velvet shades. We're also going to talk about some new shades from Lancome in the L'Absolu Rouge collection. And we are going to also have towards the end of the video timestamps will be down below. You can scan through those. They're also in the description bar. But at the end, we're going to talk about, gosh, eight other lip products that I have reviewed recently. And I'll just kind of give you a quick recap on how I'm feeling about those. So really, we got 10 different lip products. Also, we're going to have swatches, all of that good stuff. We are very busy. So happy to have you here. Don't forget that you can also follow me over on Instagram, TikTok, and on threads. But we've got a lot to do here, so let's get started. As I told you, Lancome has their really beautiful lipsticks. Lancome, you know, I understand they might not be the hippest, the youngest, the coolest, but they are tried and true, and they have some beautifully, really comfortable lipsticks. One of those is their actual matte, which is kind of nourishing. It feels almost more like the um, Charlotte Tilbury kissing formula, but it's matte, really soft matte. They have the Lancome La Absolute Rouge into matte. So it's it's a matte lipstick, but it, it feels a little bit more uh, like a satin or a satin cream, I should say. They have about 17 shades in this, but there's eight that are brand new. They're kind of, um, they're calling them their brand new blushing nudes that are universally uh, flattering and really easy to apply. And you'll see that in the demo. Of those eight new ones, I picked up two shades, which you'll see in a moment. I picked up uh, Got Me Blushing and Hush Hush, and we will be swatching those in just a moment. They are $35 each. The packaging is fairly innovative. Um, you know how Chanel has those that you press down and it releases? This you press from the top and it releases and then goes right back up in there. My daughter said the most interesting thing that I didn't care about until she said it and now I can't get out of my head. She was playing with my makeup that was there waiting in line to be filmed. She does not like the feel of the case. The case is kind of a matte case and it does have almost, if you could make suede into metal, it's got kind of that feel to it. She said she didn't like the feel on her, I, you know what? She's right, it's got a weird feel to it, but it's got a really super cool way to use it, I will say that. Okay, now a lot of you might be here for the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Velvet. That was a little bit controversial, I'll tell you why in a moment. So this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Velvet. It is $24, a little bit cheaper than Lancome, and comes in six shades. I picked up two of them. You'll see them in a moment and you'll see them in the demo. I picked up Pure Hollywood and Parchment. This is a matte liquid mousse. It is very smoothing. It is not a uh, liquid lipstick that is supposed to be um, non-transfer proof. Neither of these are transfer proof. I mean, the Lancome is a regular old lipstick, though a soothing one. And this is a regular old lip mousse. It's not you know, it's, it's, it stays around, it's long wearing, but it's not meant to be transfer proof, not that kind of a liquid lip. Um, and they, they are very controversial in the fact that I've heard, look, I try to stay away from reviews as much as I can before I form my own opinions, but I am out there on social media and beauty social media, so I do hear a few things. Uh, and these were controversial, a lot of people didn't like them. I'll just say from the onset, uh, and we'll talk about it afterwards a little more, but I disagree. I think they're lovely. So, I mean, you know, spoiler alert. But we'll talk about that more uh, after the demo when I give you my thoughts on these and eight other recent re lip releases. Uh, this is, as I said, a mousse. It is smoothing. It is, I think, very, very pretty. I am currently wearing, just so you can play along at home here. I am currently wearing the parchment shade right now, but you'll see these more in the demo. Let's take a look at these in two different lightings. First of all, here we have four swatches, two Lancome and two Anastasia on my arm first in studio lighting. We have the Lancome 440 Got Me Blushing next to the 320 Hush Hush followed by Towards My Wrist, two Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Velvets, one in Pure Hollywood, and then all the way to the right is Parchment, which I have on my lips right now. Let's take these outside now into the warm 
California sunshine. Take a look at them out there where you can see them a little bit better, I think. They're really pretty. I tried to get up really nice and close for you to see those. Now what I want to do is I want to go to a demo of me trying all of them on. You are seeing me wearing, of course, the Parchment Anastasia shade, but I want you to see all of them on me. Give me your feedback and your thoughts on the shades. Let's go to that. And then after that, we are going to talk about my feelings on these. And if you need to buy them, especially compared to like eight recent lip releases, eight. That's how many we've had. It's pretty pretty crazy. Also, if you would do me a favor, take a look and make sure you are subscribed. And if you're not, hit that subscribe button. It's very, very helpful to the longevity of my channel if you could do that. And don't forget, all of these products are indeed linked below for your purchasing pleasure, but there's also information on our private $4.99 a month membership group where we have weekly private lives. We have a lot of fun. Super thanks and all that is down below. Let's go to the demo. what do you think? They're certainly very, very pretty. But do you want to buy them, purchase or pass, as they say? Well, I have been wearing this Anastasia parchment shade for about four hours and it hasn't budged. I had a soda. It does transfer to the soda. I kissed my hand here to show you and it does transfer even all these hours later. However, it is lightweight. It is comfortable. It is a true mousse. I, I have no problem with these. I know there were creators on TikTok, possibly, some possibly didn't like it. Others possibly just to create clickbait controversy said they didn't like them. I think they're lovely, lightweight, super smoothing, can't feel them at all on my lips. You know, they're, they're not meant to last for eight hours. They, they don't promise that. They're a lip mousse. But of all the lip mousses I've tried, and trust me, I've tried a lot from Papagraph to Mario to, let's see, Charlotte Tilbury had some. Um, I These are probably my favorite. They're super lightweight. They're really creamy, really easy to apply. Beautiful packaging. Good fair price for high-end makeup, $24. I like them. If you like lip mousse, you'll like these. Oh, NARS had one. These, this, I think, is my favorite of the bunch, so I'm not seeing the controversy, sorry. Uh, the Lancome, super cool packaging. Also very creamy, super comfortable. They're a matte, but they feel like a creamy satin actually super lightweight on the lips. You would have to be a big Lancome fan in order to try these or need specifically one of the colors, you know. Um, they are, when all is said and done, just a lipstick and there's a lot of uh, competition for that. I'd mentioned that weird feel to the case. I can't get over it now that my daughter has said it, but they do have that really neat kind of, looks like, you know, Q would have this from James Bond. So that's really cool. They're incredibly comfortable, incredibly creamy, incredibly pretty. Long wearing, you know, no, they're a lipstick. They're a regular old lipstick. I don't know, as long wearing as any other fairly long wearing lipstick is. Nothing to write home about. $35, a little bit pricey. Lancome, you know, I love their complexion products. We love their mascara. For lipstick, they can look and feel a little bit old fashioned. If you buy these though, you will not be disappointed in them. If you're not usually a fan of Lancome lipstick, what would draw you to these? Frankly, I am not so sure anything would. I'm just being honest, what do you want, you know? Okay, so let's compare these two. I have eight different lip products that I have reviewed in like the past two weeks. We always have a big slew of lip releases at the beginning of the year, right? I'm going to take two of them out of the running. One of them was the uh, Tom Ford uh, Gloss Luxe in the um, 
Soleil Neige packaging. Those were just re-promotes, so we're not going to talk about that. And one was the Hourglass Liner. We're going to call that a liner, not a lipstick. That's a fantastic product. That's going to go down as one of the favorite lip liners I have ever used. Honestly, honestly. And you know, I can do a longer lip product video. This is a really quick recap just at the end here, just for you guys. Um, because we've done so many in the past few weeks, but you know, I can do a longer one. So let's talk about it. Let's first talk about the Makeup by Mario. We have the Makeup by Mario Super Satin Lipstick. If you put that up against the Lancome, I would buy the Mario. Why? Because he's cooler, Rebecca? Kind of, yeah. I mean, you know, we're all affected by marketing. I think these colors are a little bit more saturated. They're a little bit more fun, a little bit younger. In terms of comfort and wearability, they're the same. I prefer the Mario. That's unfair, Rebecca. I can handle it. I can handle that. Rouge Dior. Uh, Dior is slowly, as you know, and as you've seen in the uh, video I did, I've reviewed all of these lipsticks we're now talking about. Um, and I will link all of my lip product videos at the end of this video. So if you're interested in seeing more lip products I've reviewed, they'll all be there uh, on a playlist at the end of this video. Um, I, so far, my, my Rouge Dior fans have panicked. I don't blame them that they're redoing these and that it says six months. And there's all sorts of debate in the comment section. Is six months actually six months? Is it a guideline? Is it going to be strict because there's no preservatives? So we'll leave all that up for debate for now. So far, in terms of wearability, the new Rouge DR seemed very pretty and, and perfectly acceptable to me. Did they need to be redone? Certainly not. So, you know, I'm sitting on the fence with that one. I got splinters in my tush. What can I say from sitting on the fence? You get it. Let's talk about the Tarte Maracuja Lip Plump. This is that one that's been all over social media. You click it up and, you know, I'm, I'm not going to swatch these because I did a review. You know, and it's really metallic and supposed to be super glistening. It smells like vanilla. No real sense, by the way, if I could just re reverse a little bit. No real scent. The Lancome maybe has a little bit of a rosy scent. No real scent on those, but this Tarte does. I don't like this product. And everybody tells me I'm crazy. Maybe it's just that it's aimed at like 18 year olds. I just find it way too metallic and way too dark. I don't know what it is because I think I'm in the minority on this one. I just think these are ugly. Oh my God, nobody else has said that. I just think they're ugly, it's just personally. Okay, let's go to some glosses, okay? Um, Speaking of Dior, Dior Attic Lip Maximizer released some new shades that are all absolutely gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. If you can't afford the splurge or you've done something and you deserve a treat, you've stuck to your New Year's resolution, something, you want a treat, get one of these new shades of this Lip Maximizer. I will put that review at the end of this, this review. They're just, they're such a treat. I love them and they're not, they don't make you run around screaming in pain from the plumping, they're just lovely. Saving my favorite for last. Let's talk about Gucci, Gucci Hydrating Plumping. The Suzanne Brown shade in this is amazing. First of all, the packaging on this is gorgeous. I've reviewed this already. This, everyone's like, oh, what's the plumping like? It's cinnamon, it's menthol. It, 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 it has a little bit of an old stale cigarette smell to me. I'm not, I'm not a smoker. Um, but it kind of smells like when you would walk into a room where there's been a lot of smoking and it's gotten into the upholstery. It does have that scent when you first open it, which is a, a, clearly not a compliment. Uh, but as you wear it, it's, it's gone pretty much immediately. I think that's a really fun product. I am suckered in by the pretty packaging. And this Suzanne Brown is like a warm version I show you it in my review, so you'll have to refer to that. But this is like a warm version of the Fenty Chocolate. It's even prettier, and I love that Fenty shade. And my favorite, laugh at me if you want, I don't care. My favorite, the Too Faced Kissing Jelly. So this is comes in a, quite a bit, bunch of different shades. They all have a scent and indeed a taste. Not that we are eating our lip gloss, but sometimes you can't help it. They are so fun, so retro, so pretty. I cannot put these down. I want all of them. Yes, they are young. Yes, they are fun. I This and the Dior for the glosses, I just, this, these new lip maximizer shades and these, this is an entirely new product from Too Faced, this kissing jelly. Oh, they're so lovely. And of the lipsticks, I like the Mario the best. 
even more than the Dior. Just because I'm mad at Dior, they didn't need to reformulate. That's that's why. And in terms of lip mousses, these Anastasia Beverly Hills are incredibly smoothing and lovely. I really like them. So that's what I would spend my money on. Anastasia Beverly Hills, Too Faced, Dior, and that one brown Gucci shade. The other, you know, and Mario, and Mario, and Mario. You don't need the Dior. Why'd they reformulate? And the Lancome, they're nice, but they're a bit stodgy. You know what I mean? A bit stodgy. I don't know. This is where you come in. Tell me what of these lip products. So this is, we talked about di like 10 different lip products. Have you purchased? That's in the past two weeks. Uh, are you crazy like me and purchased them all? I don't know. You'll have to tell me that. This is where you come in. Tell me what your thoughts are. I don't care if you disagree. I love the dialogue. Again, this is what makes us a community. Let me know what you think. Make sure that you share and like, and of course, subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Bye-bye.